Welcome back to another video, and today we're gonna talk about this thing, <laughs> goggles, and how to stop them from getting foggy, because I get this question asked a ton of times by so many students, how do you get these things to stop fogging up, Justin? First of all, whatever you do, don't lick these goggles, okay? That is just filthy. I've seen, uh, when I was a kid learning how to swim, our swim instructor would teach us to spit in our goggles and lick them. And that's how our stupid habit formed. Our instructor was an idiot, basically. I kept spitting in my goggles, I kept licking them, and guess what, I got sick every time. Because I was basically tasting pool water every time with my tongue. They would always fog up constantly after each, each session. And you know, I would just keep constantly like licking them throughout my sessions and it's just it's just stupid it's a waste of time okay so just don't do that it's such a filthy habit i don't know why they they taught us to do that when we were young but don't spit in your goggles don't lick them okay it's just so unhygienic it's just like when you're driving in a car on a cold rainy day okay the cold rain from the outside meets with the, the heat of a inside indoor car and just the windshield fogs up same thing goes with goggles okay once you put these bad boys on you know you're collecting that that air that's trapped inside in your eyes and that heat just builds up because there's no ventilation there's no way for it to escape plus on top of that you're slowly accumulating body heat as you swim laps because if you're really like pushing it and you think about it okay you, that heat builds up Okay, your body will radiate heat, okay? It goes outwards. And same thing with your eyes, it will radiate in here. And you mostly keep them on and then you just keep swimming back and forth for hours, okay? So eventually, yeah, that heat's going to build up to a point where there's condensation. And the condensation is what makes the windshield foggy or what makes your goggles foggy. Here are a pair of goggles that I wear. These are very expensive custom-made goggles. They're called the Magic 5 goggles. If you want to get your pair then uh, click the link down below and these are awesome and they come with like anti-fog coating right but like all coating it wears off so the way to make these unfogged is by using this if you don't know what this is this is baby shampoo okay why do we use baby shampoo because it's tear free okay if you use regular shampoo you get that that chemicals in your eyes or in the pool water, you risk just hurting yourself or hurting others, okay? So get baby shampoo because it's tear-free, okay? Tear-free means risk-free, okay? You don't risk getting your eyes infected or the pool water infected if you apply this stuff onto your goggles, okay? So get this. It's really cheap at your super supermarket. It's like two bucks, okay? Here's what you do. You take a little bit of baby shampoo. You put it on your finger like this, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, a little bit, little bit, little, 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 little bit. And what I do is I coat the insides. Just put a little bit on the inside and I put a little bit on the outside. A lot of people forget this, okay? Lenses work both ways. I put a little bit on the outside and I just rub it, rub it in. Rub on the outside and then I rub on the inside, okay? Just a little bit. Okay, a little bit goes a long way. It's just a tiny teardrop I used, and that's enough to coat the inside and the outside of these lenses. Okay, so you can't see it probably. What I'm doing right now is I'm just running my finger around the lenses, coating both the inside and out. A lot of people just coat the inside. I don't know, I don't know why, but lenses work both ways, okay? You might as well kill two birds with one stone and clean both sides of your lens. It's just like a glass. You know, when you, when you wash your windows or you wash your, your glass, you wash the inside and the outside to get the clearest view. Same thing with goggles. But there's a coat of baby shampoo on both sides, inside and the outside of these goggles. I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. Okay, now, what do you do next? Okay, now that you have this coat, okay? What I do, and what people don't really know, is that I don't carry a case with me, okay? Why? Because 
I don't want a lot of stuff in my bag when I travel to and from the pool. So what I do instead, I say, take my swim cap, take my goggles, and I put my goggles into the swim cap. Okay? Like this. Okay? Boom! I have a bag now for my goggles. Okay? And I keep the goggles with the shampoo intact and contained inside my swim cap, like this. And then, when I go to the pool, I take my goggles out of the swim cap, I put them on, and I use cold water to rinse off the residue. Now, I know what a lot of people do when they, before they enter the pool, is they use screaming hot, boiling hot shower water. They rinse themselves, rinse their, their attire before they enter the pool. Well, guess what? That heat is going to collide with the cold pool water. It's going to fog up your goggles. It's going to mess up your swim, okay? So, use cold water, especially with the goggles, okay? Just you use cold water to rinse off any of that baby shampoo residue, okay? And then you'll notice, boom, it's just like sparkly clean windows that you have on, okay? And then you put them on, you do your swim session, and you it's just like, boom, you see everything. Everything's 20-20 vision with your goggles clean, okay? And I do this for every session, okay? Every session, because when you think about it, after you swim, you know, your, your goggles collect chlorine water, they collect shower water, they collect pool water, whatever, okay? That stuff remains on the goggles, okay? And it dries and just the, the whatever's left is like dry chemicals, okay? So the best thing you can do for, to have that perfect swim every session is to coat your goggles with baby shampoo like this. I hope this video has clarified this age-old question of how to stop your goggles from fogging. If you want to learn how to swim, check out my swim course 7 swimco And yes, I did shave my head. Thank you very much. It feels rejuvenating. Let me know how it goes with your swim session with the baby shampoo, okay? Click the links down below to get your baby shampoo and get started right now. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!